Hello there, welcome back. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Jason. I'm doing a series of Facebook Live to talk about Facebook advertising. In the past four days, sorry, in the past three days, we talk about Facebook ad strategies for three industries. First, um, e-commerce industry, followed by the property industry and the real estate industry. And uh, the third one, which was yesterday, was um, Facebook ad strategy for FMB industry. So in these three live sessions, I offered you some uh, strategies or some techniques or some steps to take in order to increase your sales and uh, to improve your ROI um, when you're running ads on Facebook. Purely Facebook ads, okay? I uh, may not be able to offer much of uh, some tips to help you go viral, uh, copywriting, which in my opinion, no matter how good your copywriting is, no matter how good your design is, if you're not able to effectively reaching your people, everything falls apart. But of course, I'm not trying to discount the importance of uh, the visual and the creative because in our Facebook Ads Accelerator program, we also have a very special course that talks about effective ads design. In that course, we talk about what I have learned managing thousands of campaigns. I seriously don't remember how many campaigns I've managed. 10 years running ads for businesses big or small. 200 plus brands managed and uh, guided. We literally, we manage tens of millions of Facebook ads budget for our clients uh, throughout the years. So with all this experience and the learning that we have gathered, we put together in classes inside Facebook Ads Accelerator program. So if you miss it, okay, I urge you to take a look at it. I'll be including the link uh, in the comment later. And uh, if you really want to sign up, Take a look and consider if you really want to sign up come back to this post and comment i want faa break up i want faa uh, and i'll be actually in touch to give you a very special code to sign up only valid for now and uh, basically today we're going to talk about a very interesting uh, activity that i used to do which is i call it the one-to-one -one facebook ads coaching and audit now this is really a session that will be, we have been running for the past three years now and uh, exclusively we only work with our clients because not all clients are getting us to manage the ads for them some some actually manage themselves and i actually prefer that why because when you manage yourself you're actually building a team on your own and uh, in fact with all this capability of the team uh, you can really do different things so for all these clients and even for certain participants uh, for those who have went through our full learning program because uh, we, we actually trained a lot on Facebook advertising uh, that was since 2016. Uh, we have trained close to 3,500 people. Basically, from all these uh, participants, uh, a lot of them actually have learned and uh, they started implementing. And trust me, this is when you have a lot more questions and you need a bouncing board. So what we specialize in is really the analytics. We use the numbers to find opportunities for growth. So what, are, what do you mean by numbers? Uh, I have this thing called action funnel. Now with our action funnel, that's one of the areas that we will be looking at as in like we want to find um, which part of the whole campaign is broken and uh, we want to fix it. And of course, uh, that involves a lot of analytical work and uh, some uh, statistical kind of uh, comparison and we, we need to keep track on certain data. So today, I want to quickly put up a live session uh, and on a video to share with you how uh, we do it on certain samples and uh, scenarios to look at. So, well, if you're interested on this, there are two ways that you can get this. First, you sign up to the Facebook Ads Accelerator program. You'll be entitled for one session, but you have to use it uh, on the second month, as in like only on the second month you will be able to use it because the idea is I want you to go through the learning Okay, then after you have learned and implemented something, on the second month, you have the data. We will need the data to dive in, you see. I don't want you to just jump in and waste the session. Okay, second way is um, you can actually sign up specifically for this one-to-one -one session where we used to charge 650 per session and now we are going at 300 because it's special time. Let's see how we can help everyone. Okay, um, now let's dive in and let me show you how we use all this data to help us make decisions to improve our campaign. Let's take a look. I'll be sharing with you some examples. And uh, remember, if you have more questions, comment. Or I would prefer that you go over to private message me because I think it's a lot more 
um, easier for us to communicate one by one in a private scenario. So I look forward to hear from you soon. But without further ado, let's dive in and look at the numbers together. So how do we do audit? Let's take a look at this campaign. This is how we start in doing Facebook Ads audit. Basically, this is Facebook Ads Manager. I want to quickly walk you through how we look at numbers. Okay, so in Ads Manager, this is a campaign. So when you have active campaign running, a few things that you'll be seeing, this is whether it's active or not. And then after that, uh, the bid strategy. Now, what is bid strategy? There are three types of bid strategy, basically. The first is lowest cost, which is the default bid strategy. Then going in, we have um, bid cap and then we have cost cap. So basically, each and every one of the bid strategy serves different purpose. You use them at specific reason. So if you really want to understand, dive into the Facebook Ads Accelerator program. We have a very great walkthrough on that part. So after that, you have budget and then they show you the result. They show you the reach, impression, and cost, and eventually at this quality ranking, how much you have spent and when it's going to end. It's ongoing campaign. So this is the basically the most fundamental numbers that you see. Now to a lot of people, they already know that, oh, I have reached that many people and uh, the impressions, blah, blah, blah. What else? What else can you see? Okay, so this is where I want to start walking you through about what are the potential numbers that you can get to see. Now let's take a look at this campaign, for example. Basically, you're able to customize your column. That's the first thing I want to tell you. A lot of people don't even know this. Multiple columns means you can actually switch over to look at different numbers from different angles. So now this, where you see something new, cost per thousand people reach 25, 28. So this is how much you are paying to reach 1,000 people. And then now you have CPM and all that. And then if you toggle it over to look at different one, and uh, this is where you look at the engagement metrics where they will show you different kind of thing and then, then this in turn they give you cost per click so um, I urge you to go and explore all this gives you different perspective as in different ideas about what are the metrics that you can look at in terms of uh, judging the effectiveness of a campaign but now what I want to show you is I want to use a thing called the action funnel to determine the effectiveness of this campaign. So what do you mean by action funnel? Action funnel is we want to look at the whole journey. We want to break it down to see how the journey flows. From there, we are able to identify where goes wrong and what can we do to improve. So uh, remember the campaign audit should be done on the weekly basis, as in like the optimization. Where eventually, every time we come in and look at the number, there will be something that we want to tweak. And then after tweaking it, we will usually take about three days to seven days. Usually we take seven days, yeah? Unless it's really short term and niche audience, then we, we will use three days as a benchmark. But usually it's a seven day thing. From there, we will judge whether, okay, how well is this tweak going and uh, what is the next tweak that we need to do? So when a campaign comes in, usually we will take about, but usually at least one month to optimize and stabilize the campaign. So we want all the numbers to go well so that when we have a, when we have a benchmark, we'll be able to look at moving forward how can we bring the cost down how can we reach more people with the same amount of money but look let's look at currently at the audit so now I want to quickly go over to a set of metrics that I set up early so basically as usual everything remains the same but I pull out three key metrics over here the first is CPM now CPM is cost per thousand impression for most Facebook Ads objective this is the default charging block that you will be charged on Facebook advertising so literally when you're running ads on Facebook you are really doing something similar to the flyer distribution because every time you show your ad to people you pay regardless they take action or not regardless they scroll through or they really watch your video till the end regardless most of the time this is your default charging block so we want to look at CPM because um, this is really the number that determine whether are you really paying too much uh, for a few reasons. So CPM, our benchmark is usually within 15 ringgit. Anything below 10 is good. 15, acceptable. Beyond that, we depend. Now, if you have a very niche audience, of course, sometimes we can go up to maybe like 20 plus 30 ringgit, which is fine. You are okay to pay because if the audience is small, your CPM is slightly higher. However, you won't be spending a lot. But that, I will try to explain in uh, greater detail if I have the opportunity. But I do have this covered in my uh, Facebook Ads Accelerator program. This is a basic analytic inside the courses. Now, CPM here, you know, let's take a look at it. CPM here is fine. 
CPM is, you know, at the moment at about eight ringgit. I like it. So this is good. Then we are looking at the CTR. CTR means the click-through rate, as in like percentage. Huh? Every 100 people who sees your ad, how many percent of these people really click through? Now, CTR, as you can see here, there are two CTR. One is CTR all. Now, CTR all means when you are looking at a Facebook ad, right, there are many buttons to click, not just the call to action button, not just the link, not just the video to play. Uh, clicking on like is also considered a click. Clicking on uh, profile, your image is also considered a click. Clicking on your page name to go over is also considered a click. High CTR for all may not be a very good thing because the next thing we look at is the CTR for link click through. Now, the CTR for link click through means when you're running an ad, there should be an action that you're trying to get. So let's say this is for messages. Now, when you want messages, means how many people really click on the send message button and start conversation with you. So this kind of CTR over here is at 0.66%. So now, immediately we see some potential problem already, yeah? Because you have very high CTR for all and you have very low CTR for link click through. So this could be the problem already. Which means a lot of people get, a lot of people are interested, but very little people take the action. But let's take a look at whether the overall action funnel, whether this is doing okay or not. So I'll uh, recap a little bit, yeah? Over here, you have reached 71,000 people with a total of uh, 100 and over 1,000 times. So the frequency we are looking at here is, uh, I didn't pull out frequency, but on average, it's about three. Now, the next thing that we want to look at is, out of these 71,000 people, there are 14,000 people watch the video up to 25%. Well, quite decent, because um, if you're looking at the number itself, right, that will be about 19%. Now, 19% to watch up to 25%, not too bad. And then those who play up to 50% is about 10,000. That is very impressive, in fact. So basically, we're looking at about 14% watch up to 50%, okay? And out of which, we got 1,400 clicks. Now, look back, yeah? 71,000 people reach. And then uh, you have 1,400, 1,439 clicks. So basically, from here, we want to see how many people started conversation. So over here, we have 573 message connections. So let's take a look back. And then in total, we have 581 messaging results. So overall, this campaign may have some challenge as in like, you have a lot of click-through rate as in like the advertisement itself, right? is good because it gets a lot of people to engage with it either because this is video. So playing the video is also considered a click. So from here, we also look at the video play well, all the numbers seems to be very promising. We are looking at, okay, then eventually, even though we have low click-through rates, as in like this link click-through, conversion from video play to link click to messaging seems all right. So everything is actually under control. And ultimately, of course, what we want to look at is the cost per result. Now, your cost per result is standing at three, which is, I think, this is a very good number to look at. We will dive in if there is a certain problem. We will try to dissect, see what are the challenges. Like let's say, for example, if this CTR is very high, however, the link is very low, we will probably try to reduce the friction that we have on the advertisement. We want to give clearer instruction to our audience about what to do. You see, like I mentioned, I keep on saying this, you know, when it comes to advertising on Facebook, we are that dumb. We have no idea what you want us to do. So you got to be very specific. You want to point us to the right action that you want us to take. Reducing friction, we will observe by maybe changing the visual. We will see whether this CTR does improve over time or not next week. So if it does, then okay, stable. Then we will look for some other things to do. So this is, this is really the process of optimization. Ads audit really helps you dissect and find the numbers that matters to you. So this is one example. Okay, so this is another example of a difficult campaign. So this campaign is facing some problem. It is a traffic campaign, okay, trying to retarget a very specific group of people where these are the people that uh, have taken certain action on their website and they want to retarget them to get them to take the next action. Now, this is really the right way of doing advertising, yeah? Because remember, as I always like to share, almost nobody will buy from you the first time they see your ad. Eventually, you need to find ways to touch them again because uh, the journey will be this. You need to show your ads at least two to three times to an audience in seven days to get noticed. After they notice you, they will decide whether, oh, okay, I've seen this. Now, whether I want to click on it or not, that's the next question. Now, if I do click on you, the next question is whether does your website load fast enough for me to come in and become a landing page view? Even I land, we are talking about a very low conversion of a 
1% click-through rate. Yeah? So 1,000 people who see your ad, 10 people will click through. And out of the people who click to your advertisement and land, basically 95 to 97% of them will drop out because less than 1 to 3% of the audiences who click will become your customer. And the other extreme would be nobody will buy from you the first time they see you. They either go to do more research about you, they either go to do something else such as replying message and whatnot. There are thousand reasons for them to leave. But what I want to highlight to you here is this. You show them two to three times in a week to capture their attention. And finally, they notice you. They have the interest and intent on your product. Then they finally click over. However, they got distracted. They left. My question to you is what are you doing to bring them back. So that's really the key to custom audiences as in like, these are the people who indicated interest. How do you group them up? How do you show another ads to them for them to take the next action? How do you build a journey for them to take and eventually convert? So that's the, really the question that you should be asking yourself because eventually this is where it contributes the most to your uh, conversion. In my Facebook ads strategy for e-commerce business live session earlier this week, I talked about eventually 90% of the conversion come from people who have visited your website before. Okay, so you really need to work on these people. Yeah, that's the retargeting advertisement that you should be asking. However, retargeting campaign can hit into trouble. So I'm going to show you this example. So this is a retargeting campaign that has issue right now. Okay, the biggest challenge that they're facing now is they have very high cost per click. This is per link click. Yeah. This kind of cost is a bit scary. So the most trouble one is the, 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 the first campaign. So I just highlight the first campaign and take a look at it. Yeah. So the first campaign is having some issue here because the cost per click is really way too high. So uh, eventually what we do is we actually pull out my part. Okay, this is my metrics. What we are looking at here is the cost is so high, the spend is this much, and then eventually the CPM is still okay. But oh, okay, here's the problem. The problem is the frequency goes too high. Now, why is the frequency going too high? You see the video play, judging from the 6,000 people, you have 4,000 play until 50%, and you have 2,000 play until 100%. This is unheard of, this is crazy. But of course, it's a very short video. And you have 100 plus clicks, you know. But why is the cost coming up? 6,000? 100 plus clicks. Okay, basically the overall click-through rate that we're looking at, 156 clicks divided by 6,000 reach. Okay, it's about 2%. However, the CTR is about 0.29%. What is the problem here? Okay, if you look at it, 6,000, frequency 8. The problem about this campaign is the audience size is too small and the budget is too big. Why? Because there are only 6,000 people. You show this advertisement to the same person way too many times, you're actually wasting money. That's why I always encourage you to do exclusion by action. I do cover this in my Facebook Ads Accelerator program. Yeah? How do you exclude people by action? Because if you're not able to do that, right, people will be keep seeing your advertisement even though they have clicked. Now here you see the average CTR is about 0.29%. However, the total clicks that we receive is total about 2% from the 6,000 over people that we have reached. Which means uh, these people have already clicked multiple times. So when they click multiple times, what is really happening to your campaign? You're wasting money. So for this campaign, we have a few routes to go. First, we reduce the budget. Reducing budget should reduce the average frequency because your audience is not big enough. It can't support the budget. So we reduce the budget. We throw it to somewhere else. We either get more co-audience coming in and all that. So that could be one. And then on top of that, the other thing that we can consider doing is we can actually try to change visual because you have already saturated this audience. Your ad has already reached most of them many times. It's time to change. So these are the few angles that we'll be looking at in terms of uh, finding opportunities to help our client uh, improve their Facebook ads campaign. Remember, better campaign means better ROI. If you're able to reach your audience and get them to notice you at the first time, that you are golden because you improve your ROI by at least 60 over percent. And most importantly, remember, advertising is about sending the right message to the right people at the right time. When it comes to advertising, really, I always like to emphasize that Facebook advertising especially, yeah, it is really the mistakes that you don't even know yourself making that is costing you a lot of money. So there you go. This is how we do in our one-to-one -one session. I call it Facebook Ads Audit. I believe now you have a lot of questions and you have a lot of ideas. Yes, 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 go ahead. 
dive back into your ads manager, try to tweak a little bit here and there, find out all the numbers and see uh, if there is anything that you can look at and to improve. And uh, of course, if you want to have a more guided session, if you want to have a more uh, effective session, well, you can always choose to sign up to our one-to-one -one, uh, ads audit or coaching session. So I'll leave the link later in the, in the comment below. Uh, we are currently running a very special promo. You need to apply the code to get a special rate. So if you want to work with me, there are two ways remember. One is with the audit, through the audit, or uh, through the one-to-one -one session. Of course, the other one is to learn it yourself. Well, trust me, um, I think digital marketing or rather Facebook advertising skill is a must-have skill for everyone moving ahead. Reason being is, you see, one thing, digital is the new normal because the MCO, the pandemic, the virus is actually pushing us to go online. Okay, all the countries are locking down themselves. However, business goes on because we have already connected virtually in all the ways we can and even future more exciting ways to come. So advertising is the most important technique you need to master. Reason being is, you see, like I always say, when there is a push, when there is a rush, there will be a lot more people coming into the scene as well. So when the place get crowded, it's harder to be seen. It's harder to be discovered. So you need to work on your discoverability. Let me break it down to you. Yeah, Nobody will willingly just come over and look for you and you specifically. Because let's say, for example, if I look for a service specifically, well, there'll be thousands of them. There'll be so many of them. Why you? How, what makes you stand out? And how's your ranking on Google? How is your discoverability on Facebook? All these are very important. Yes, we have a lot more things to learn, but everything has to start. And this is where I urge you to start. Facebook advertising is so far the most effective push advertising avenue that you can get. Covering Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and a lot more other mobile apps that actually serves Facebook ads. Uh, meaning some of the games that you are playing in between their advertisement popping up, that could be Facebook ads, yeah? So you're covering almost 80% or to 90% of the population in Malaysia alone. Okay, so uh, you, you can't ignore this platform. And as the year passes, um, the platform gets a lot more complicated. To navigate success, you need a guide, okay? It's just like when you want to drive, you need to learn, you need to get an instructor to learn, then you need to get your uh, license. Of course, Facebook ads, you don't need a license. Anyone can jump in. But if you don't learn, you'll be banging the wall. Okay? It's really the mistakes that you don't even know yourself making that is costing you a lot of money. Trust me, a lot of seasoned advertisers came to us where we sit down to go through this one-to-one -one and to go through all the learning that we used to have uh, with them. That's where they find themselves misused so many things, misunderstood so many things, and that is really costing them a lot of money. So FAA is really the place to go, Facebook Ads Accelerator Program. Comment I want FAA, you know, or just type FAA. I'll be giving you a very special link to sign up at a very special discount, only available for today. Tomorrow onwards, there will be three lessons that talks about, first, how do you determine your audience size, okay, and then how do you determine your budget, and how do we adjust as the budget go? What are the ROI that we should be expecting? There is a formula to do that. And the third thing is how do we create effective custom audiences? I'll see you tomorrow. Remember, I prefer one-to-one. -one. I prefer you drop me a message instead of commenting because uh, I believe this is the better way for us to uh, really get in touch. And I want to understand more of your scenarios and how can I help you. So I expect your message. Okay, anything, just drop me one. And... Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again for tuning in. Thank you.